Our smart homes are progressing along nicely. We've got our smart light bulbs, our smart switches, outlets. We've got our smart assistants and our home automation all set up. But what about our garage door? We don't have a smart garage door opener yet. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Genie's new wall-mounted smart garage door opener. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're taking a look at Genie's Pro Line series. Specifically, this is gonna be for model 6170, which has their Aladdin Connect technology built into it. And what that means is that this is a smart garage door opener. So it's gonna be compatible with things like Amazon, Google, smart things. You can also connect this to systems like alarm.com or control four or even the brilliant smart switch, which I'll be showing you a little bit later. I also wanna thank Genie for sending this unit out for me to test. Now having a wall mounted garage door opener was something that I was not familiar with. I've always grown up with the garage door opener being in the middle of the garage, hanging from the ceiling with a big chain pulling it open and close, which can be extremely loud. Now with this one, they got rid of all of that stuff, which is nice because it opens up some extra storage space above my garage door now, because I don't have that pole there anymore. Instead, everything is just mounted next to the garage door and it connects directly to the spring that opens up my door. Now what's cool about this model right here is that it does have the Aladdin Connect built into it, which essentially is going to make it a smart garage door opener. In addition to integrating it into your smart home, it's also gonna give you the ability to control it remotely through the app. So this way through the app, you can open and control that garage door or give access to other people. Now, if you do try to give access to other people, they do have to have the Genie app to be able to get that access, but that is something that you can set up, send them an email to walk them through the instructions on getting that set up. Now, some other features with this garage door right here is that it has a battery backup built into it. So if you do lose power, the garage door is still going to work. It's also got a 24 volt motor. Now previously I had a wire that ran from my garage door opener in the middle of my garage all the way to the door that went into the house and that is where I had my controller. This one is completely wireless so you can put this wherever you want or just don't have to have that wire running down the wall. It also has a wireless LED light so with my previous garage door opener it did have a light on the bottom that kind of gave some light to the garage. With this one, you have a big bright LED light that is also wireless. All you have to do is keep it plugged in, but you can put it essentially anywhere you want in your garage and it is big and bright. I really do like that light right there. Now, some other cool features with this garage door is that it does have an automatic door lock. So if you're familiar, most garages, at least that I'm familiar with, have a separate door lock on the side. So if you don't wanna open up the door, you can slide the lock over, padlock it if you want. So that way, if you're on vacation or just don't want people to open up the door, you can have a permanent lock so nobody can just open it up. Well, this opener comes with the same thing, except that lock is automatic. So when the door closes and shuts, it's automatically going to lock the door so nobody can open it from the outside. Then when you go to open up the door, it's gonna automatically unlock and then open the door. We've also got the laser sensor on the bottom. So if anything does cross that line, if the door is closing, it's automatically going to stop closing and kick it back open. So if a ball rolls through, a kid, anything like that triggers through that invisible sensor, the door is going to kick back open. Another cool thing that I have not seen in a garage door opener before is something that they are calling their safety pulse system. So essentially what this system is, is that it provides internal tension monitoring. It uses electronic pulses in the motor during the initial door travel to detect slack in the cables and stop any unsafe operation. So when you close the door, here's what it looks like. All right, so now that we've gone over the features of this garage door opener, Let's connect it to our brilliant smart switch and test it out. Okay, so I've got the garage queued up here on the brilliant switch. We've got my door right here. We can see that the Genie garage door is closed. We just have to tap that and that is going to open up our garage door. All right, so I've been using this opener for quite a few months now and I gotta say, I like it a lot more than the old version that I had. The standard old version that had the pole going all the way down caused vibrations. 
in the ceiling, which I have rooms above it, and just caused a lot of extra noise throughout the house. Now with this one wall mounted right next to the door, I don't even know when the garage door is opening and closing. But the good thing is, is that built into the app, you can turn notifications on. So you can have it notify you through the app if the garage door has been left open for a certain amount of time. And that's something you can set up in the app. In addition to that, you can have the garage door automatically closed during certain times. So I have mine set up that while I'm at work from say eight to five, if the garage door is left open for a certain amount of time, I want you to send me a notification and then also automatically close the door. So those are two features built into the app that I really like. But going back to how quiet it is, I can't hear it in the house anymore when that door is opening and closing, which has just been an awesome feature to have. Anyway, what do you guys think of this smart garage door? Is this something you're gonna be picking up and integrating into your smart home, or are you happy with the one you have? Let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video.